Okay, everyone, welcome back to the channel. So this here is Doom Eternal. And strangely enough, this is actually going to be the third time that I am going to try and record this. Because I have been having a lot of issues with this game and my recordings, which for some reason always either get corrupted or end up just becoming damaged. But what is very interesting about this one now is when I launch the game, apparently it now has RTX support. And it asked me what mode I want to do this in, so I said, sure, why not try it out? So, here it is. Doom Eternal, apparently with some RTX and DLSS enabled, I have no idea. Now, I've actually played this first chapter a few times, but you know what? That's fine. Hopefully that just means that I can run through it quicker. So, I hope you all enjoy. I've been... The first time I tried to record this game, I had been looking forward to it for quite some time. And I'm, I really hope this works out, because I think I would like to do a lot more of this on the channel. Against all the evil that hell can conjure, all the wickedness that mankind can produce, we will send unto them only you. Rip and tear until it is done. Attempting to acquire the Hell Priest signal. Nearly 60% of our planet has been consumed by the invaders. We have the Hell Priest signal locked in. The target is marked, but the signal will not hold for long. For it is he that they fear, not man or his armies. They fear the mark of the beast. Right, so this is interesting because the game, the lighting definitely seems to look slightly better than it used to, but it's not quite as... Uh, so enough damage, become staggered, press E to glory kill. And glory kill gives me stuff. And not just a nice animation, but like actual stuff as well. Okay, and chainsaw, I can use that to refill my ammo when I am low on stuff. 
And I'm going to be rushing through some of this because for me, it is the third time that I've been playing it. But basically, Chainsaw, I always have at least one that I can use. But I can pick up char more charges. And just that is a tutorial for the double jump. Ooh, what's down there? Uh, I feel like there was a question mark or a secret item around here somewhere that I am now missing. That's fine. I definitely feel like the lighting is slightly better and it's more atmospheric and I think, I actually think that the game doesn't, that intro wasn't pre-generated because it felt like there was a lot of subtle lighting effects there that seemed better than before. So weapon mod behavior, I absolutely love the sticky bombs. I'm grabbing that one first. I just absolutely love how fast paced this game is. And I love these little I love the death animations. It just, they look so good. There's a lot of stuff that I do think I need to... I actually mentioned this in one of my previous recordings as well. I probably need to update some of my key bindings because I feel like there's some stuff that I'm not doing well. Things that I probably need to move to, to the mouse buttons, specifically. But I think one of the things that, I, that, that was really interesting for me is I'm playing this on the easiest difficulty level and I still think that there were some things that actually like felt really difficult. Uh, do I need more ammo again? It seems like I might need more ammo. Something that is really interesting for me about this as well, though, is all this really shiny loot. Like, People complained about the shiny loot in Diablo 3 and the not as gritty and whatever, but this kind of feels similar. That is one giant demon. The demonic consumption of Earth has been reduced by 36.8%. Okay, so I think it's F to swap. Yeah, there we go. Objective marker, not something I am going to care about right now. It's just basically Alt and Tab. Well, the two important ones there, but I already know this. Mm -hmm. 
Oops. Why did I... Oh, I'm completely out of ammo. That's fine. Okay, uh, weak point. Uh, can I... Alright, space to dismiss. I need to swap to something that I can actually attack with. And I need to definitely get some ammo back. And I need to do that. And I need to do that. And then as soon as you decide to... There we go. Thank you. Much appreciated. Oh, I don't have... Has my... Oh, apparently I do not have... There we go. Fuel for my chainsaw. Because I am still in desperate need of ammo. And where did you go? Where did you go? Come on. Great stuff. Oh, that's right. New weapon. Okay. I'm very much looking forward to getting to a point in the game where I don't have to replay things I've already done. What am I supposed to do with these? I suppose that's if I need health, but I have enough at the moment, I think. Okay, weapon wheel is Q. Wait, what's going on? What's going on? Oh no, oh no, please don't tell me. Right, so let's try this again. Apparently this game really does not want to get recorded by me. Okay, weapon wheel, space to dismiss. There we go. And then I can hold Q to change to a different weapon. Perfect. And here I can get a map. Press tab to open it. But I'm not interested in that right now. That just goes back to where I came from. Give me ammo! I find that it's really hard to comment on this game while playing just because of how fast paced it is. And it kind of feels like you need to be focusing the whole time. I have a lot of respect for the guys that play this game while actually still talking through it as well. It is impressive. I am not capable of this level of gameplay even on the easiest setting. Uh, I wonder, can I... Yes, I need more. Need more goodies. There we go. I really, I cannot concentrate so much and talk while playing a game that requires me to focus this much. Okay, so I can attach myself to certain walls to climb. If I remember to press E, which I actually haven't been remembering a lot to do. Oh, of course. Why would I need to worry about low ammo if I can just... Oh! 
That's not good. I need to remember that I can actually swap items or swap weapons yes. and I need to figure out I think I only unlock something for this weapon soonish but I need to get between these rockets there we go that should do it Okay, and now I can unlock something for him. I think micro missiles is the one that I went with last time, just because they look awesome and they become very valuable against some of the bigger enemies. Okay, like so. Uh, okay, I feel like ah, uh, there was ammo down here. That's what it was. Frag grenade, left control. Oh yeah. This is useful for some of the enemies that are coming up right about now. The Caco Demon. Basically, sticky bomb or frag grenade into its mouth. Absolutely love that sound, that gulping sound they make when you actually hit them with this thing. Such a nice little touch to the game. Bethesda really did a fantastic job with this. Oh, I'm on the wrong... No wonder I'm struggling so much. Yeah, there we go. Okay, there we go. One of the things that's really interesting is just kind of like the range you can get on your glory kills. It really helps with fast tracking some movement as well. I wonder if you can like wall jump or... That feels like something that would be pretty sweet to do. Like, jump gaps that you're not supposed to jump. Uh, there you go. Oh, man. Low ammo again? Right. Okay, so something broke through. Ah! Now that was interesting. Did I actually gain anything from this? Oh, they can use the jump panels as well. Really? Now, there's a mechanic I didn't know about. It's dead. Oh, I was hoping to get a glory kill on it. Oh, well. That's fine. There's plenty of items about, plenty more enemies about, I'm sure. The UAC would like to thank you for your support during this transition. Oh <gasps> no! No 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 no! That wasn't great. Okay. 
I'm still not entirely sure what some of these things are for. Like, there's these little items that I keep picking up that I'm not entirely sure what they're used for. Also, Twitch reactions. Oh, uh, I should have made that a glory kill. But I suppose I could use the, uh, the ammo, so I suppose it's fine. Where am I and where am I trying to go? Wall climb. Apparently, I am trying to take out everybody in this area so that that door can open. Oh, low ammo. I can do something about that. Uh, can I do something about that, though? Apparently, I don't have enough fuel to do much against these bigger guys, so... Or at least I can't chainsaw them. Which is interesting. But it is useful to know. Uh, so it said I need to interrupt something. So I think this door is open. Nope, still not open. There we go. Sometimes they make it really hard to know just how far you are from... Doing something. Thank you for the stuff. Goodbye. I appreciate the farewell gift. Oops. <laughs> Keep falling off the platform and then accidentally grabbing back hold of it. It's not great. I also keep wanting to press reload whenever it says out of ammo instead of just actually me fighting against these things and remembering that the mechanic is to chainsaw and get ammo back. So, who haven't I gotten yet? Uh, okay, somebody's not dead yet. The con maker is nearby. She is inside that demonic citadel. I will mark her location on your HUD. Gathering of hell priests is located just above your location. My scans indicate there is a lift at the center of this facility. Yeah. 
Okay, so last time I couldn't quite figure out where I was supposed to go. Fast travel allows you to teleport to three predetermined points in the map. Use it to find additional items and complete optional encounters. It unlocks near the end of the mission. Access fast travel. So, uh, does that mean that I can do it now? Show fast travel. Aha! Right. So, I'm not going after unlocking things. I'm not going after secret items. What I am doing is trying to make my way through the uh, storyline campaign. That's the word that I was looking for. Make my way through the campaign as quickly as possible. So, for now, what I want to do, what I do want to focus on is at least getting to the end of this chapter so that I can end this first video and then hope that the quality of this one came out better than the others and also won't get corrupted. But let's see what's going on here. The con maker is present at this gathering, but when outside of her domain, she is by all accounts indestructible. Okay, so it seems there are a couple of things that I've unlocked. I got all the mod bots at least, but there's a bunch of other stuff in these levels that I haven't found. So at the moment, my main focus is going to be just trying to make my way through the campaign. At the very least, I believe that eventually I want to see what is it that makes this thing most replayable. I think there are challenges that you can do or the, I don't know multiplayer maybe i'll see but for now i want to make my way through the storyline get a feel for the game get a feel for the weapons and then we'll see where that takes us i'm absolutely in love with this game there's a reason why this is my third attempt at trying to get it ready for you guys um without uh and not even minding the fact that i had to play it the, this first part for the third time i'm just i think bethesda did such a fantastic job with this and i absolutely see why people are freaking out over it this was really really good and i hope you enjoyed it as much as i did and if you did and you want to see more hit that thumbs up button and then i hope to see you all again in the next one goodbye